Hey guys, welcome back to The Dangin. On today's episode, we're gonna review another screen from Sievertson Screens. This is the SAT 4K. Stick around. All right, guys, thanks again for tuning into The Danger. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that like and subscribe below. On today's episode, we're going to review another screen material from Sieverts and Screens. This is the SAT 4K screen material, or Stellar Acoustically Transparent Screen Material. Behind me, we have the screen set up at a 120 inch screen size, and I'm going to go over demoing how to put it together and some different content so you guys can get an idea of what it looks like. So thanks for joining me here on The Dangin, and let's get going. All right, so to begin today's episode, I wanna make sure that everybody logs on to Sieverts and Screens website at sievertsandscreens.com, and you check out all of the different products that they have. They have commercial available projector screens, they have home theater, and they have just residential uh, minor projector screens if that's what you're in the market for. So in our case, we're going to go down to the Legacy Series here on their website. And once I select the Legacy Series, it gives me the ability to select the aspect ratio, the size of the screen that I want, the material, and some other uh, little different changes that you may be interested in, like a larger or a smaller bezel around the screen. So once we select that, you'll see that they have their prices listed there. And you can sort by the, uh, the material. In this case, this is the SAT 4K or the uh, Stellar Acoustic Transparent screen material. And we're gonna go ahead and set that up. Now, my theater in particular does not have speakers behind the screen, but what I wanted to give you was an idea of the visual um, and how it looks and comes across with the projector that we're gonna use. So let's get it set up. The process is rather simple. The material is a cloth-like woven material. It's super soft, uh, it's super white, and you really can't tell that it has perforated holes in it. Um, I'll be quite honest with you, it's, uh, it's kind of like a normal projector screen, but more of a cloth material. As you get it put together, you're gonna do things like put through some connecting rods uh, to keep the outside edge stiff and line it up with the metal frame. And then after that, you'll connect all of the different connecting rods to the screen frame itself with the provided springs. Those springs allow for the projector screen material to become tensioned and tight with the frame, therefore leaving out any type of wrinkles or imperfections when you display onto the screen. The final part after adding the springs is the black cloth material that goes over the back. Now this is like a thicker black felt material and what it does is it allows the speakers and audio equipment to still play music or movie sound through the screen from behind the screen. However, it blocks out any type of light that may go through that acoustically transparent material. Once the screen is set up and on the wall, you'll notice that I have all of my lights on in the Dangin, and this is the image with some HDR content playing across with 100% ambient light. The colors still remain very vivid, and the picture quality is outstanding. I don't see any imperfections, and I don't see any type of material uh, differing from other projector screens just because it's acoustically transparent. Once we turn the lights down to about 50%, you'll see that the colors become more vibrant, the contrast a little bit better, the black level is even a little bit better. And then finally, we'll switch to an image with all of the lights off, 
and you'll notice here the color pops even more. The whites are bright, the, the reds are bright, all of the colors, the black levels, honestly outstanding. And not to mention, it does have in what I think more of a ambient light rejecting type material because there's not much of a gloss coming off of the acoustically transparent SAT screen. For the next portions of the video, I'll just show you some more content in 100% ambient light, 50% ambient light, and lights off. So go ahead and enjoy this next portion, and here's some music for you.
So in the end, like I mentioned, I don't necessarily have the same setup that would be required for an acoustic transparent screen, but I think what comes down to it is you need a good picture quality regardless. And this material really does a great job showing all this different content in these different lighting scenarios. So I would really think that as long as the acoustics are good, the picture is going to be perfect. I highly recommend this screen, so make sure you check it out on their website. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed today's episode. Once again, make sure you hit that like and subscribe if you like the channel. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. Thanks for joining me on today's episode, and make sure you check out Sieverts and Screen's website if you're in the market for a projector screen. Thanks again for joining me here today, and we'll talk to you guys next time.